Hi, oh, welcome back to our international scale model. I'm Lee. Today we're going to do a, a quick review of uh, this, which is the AK Universal work holder. Uh, now, I do believe this is made by another company, um, and I haven't been able to find out who, and then reboxed by AK, a bit like their um, ammo are doing with a lot of stuff as well. And they seem a lot of companies seem to be doing this at the moment. So, um, but this is on the box. You've got a picture there of obviously someone hand painting a, a figure which is obviously its initial use um, and then you've got some other applications down the side that we'll go through in a minute uh, but on the front of the box it says a really useful tool which is ideal for holding small and odd shaped parts for filling painting engraving sawing shaping etc the four steel pins can be placed anywhere around the head and are also useful for bending and forming wire around handle can be removed and the head of, uh, and can then be locked in a bench vice which is something I'll go into a little bit in a minute because it's quite handy indeed. So I mean that's on the box and as you can see here it says here uh, multiple uses and applications you can see bending wire around there so you can make chain links and you know barbed wire and all sorts of stuff like that um, for your dioramas or any part of your model that you'd want. You've also got their wooden handle for a bit uh, and it's got the, um, some uh, Stanley blades hold, hold in there with a file going into the Stanley blades. I don't know what that is. Um, that would be interesting to find out what that means, but I have no idea why you would do that. I've never come across anything. Uh, and that's basically it. So let's have a look, see, what's, see what we get inside the box. It just comes, it's quite a sturdy box that it comes in. Um, put that up there. Okay, and uh, has a little plastic bag. Inside the bag you have uh, obviously the holder, it's, it's nice, it's, it feels, it's a good weight, uh, it feels nice to hold and sturdy, which is, and solid. I know a lot of figure painters, uh, they use, uh, they'll, um, you know, pop their figure on the uh, bottom of a bottle and glue it on, or cork, or bits of wood, and all sorts of things. I think I did my Judge Dredd on a, on a block of wood. Um, but uh, this is one of those things, it's, it's a lot more comfortable to handle because you, you can kind of manipulate it quite well actually. So, um, and it, where it's a nice weight, it's, it's, I don't know, it just gives you a feel of something solid and nice. Now on here you've got this little ring which I haven't quite worked out what it is yet, but uh, I'm sure it has a purpose um, and a useful one at that. <laughs> uh, but on here you can see you've got this, you've got this metal plate uh, and on there you, it comes with four Look at these pegs that just slot in and out, as you can see. As you can see there, okay, and you get four of those already in the in the thing itself. And you also get a bag with another four, which is very handy indeed. Um, now, basically, uh, it works like a vice. In fact, that's all it is, um, as you can see there. And it goes out quite a way. Um, now, there's quite a lot of applications for this because of how far it goes. If you think. The jaws there, they go uh, 23, 23 millimeters apart, but then you've got your final, you've got your pegs over here, so you can actually hold something that's 60 millimeters uh, wide if you put your pegs on either end, and vice versa, you know, you've got that way, you've got 38 millimeters that way. So very, very handy indeed, and the fact that you can get a plethora of your modeling stuff into that. Um, and you can also, you know, once it's in there for added stability, you can pop elastic bands around it and everything because it's quite a nice surface. Uh, but it's, as I say, it feels nice and easy to use. It's it's quick and easy. Uh, the other thing is, I'll tell you what, let me show you with a figure on there. Um, let's get Darth in there. Um, let's see. Oh, oh he's angry. But uh, um, basically all it is, when you're fixing the figure in, it's just, you can use well, any part of the body really, but in this case, I'm just going to pop the foot in on those holders, and there you go, that's it. Nice and simple, as you can see. He's in there, it's not going to move, you're not denting the plastic or anything like that. It's got a nice grip, um, and as I say, it's very handy to manipulate the figure as you go around because it's we've got this long handle, it's very easy to turn upside down and you know, give you all the angles that you'd need to get to on, on a figure and everything. So I like it. I, some people have slated it saying it's useless, but I don't think that's true at all. Um, so we can get the, it's popped off back. Um, and you can also, also obviously you can take these out as well completely and just use it as a normal vise in there. Now, the other good thing about this is you can take it apart quite easily. Just unscrew it. Now if you've got, like I used to have in my old uh, man cave, I don't have it in, in this one, 
But if you've got a bench vise, um, like a little bench vise or a big bench vise, and you want to be able to make that a bit smaller or handier, this little bolt, this, this square area here, as you can see, allows you to fix that into a vise. So your vise would clamp onto there, and then you've got this, this whole mini vise already clamped in. So then you can use that and make it even sturdier if you want to make a fixed point of it and things like that. So I think it's very handy, uh, very handy indeed. As you can see, just it's all good quality, it's well made, it's not cheap, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall to bits any second, any anytime soon. Uh, so I think uh, I flashed up the price already. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I know it wasn't a lot of money. Um, and when I clicked to buy it, I bought two instead of one <laughs> by mistake. So um, what I what we'll do is I will throw this into the UMP Christmas drawer. So this will be one of the prizes in the Christmas drawer as well. Um, but I think personally, um, I actually think it's quite a handy little tool. Um, and uh, it has been slated. Um, and I know it's a little, I think it's about a couple of euros more expensive on the AK site than you can get it from the original site, but I can't remember for the life of me where that is. But if you're buying something from AK anyway, which I was, I was buying some paints and some primers and, and varnish and things like that. And because I'm abroad now, I buy in bulk just to save on postage and things like that. I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll try this and throw it in there. And I've used it, I've used mine a couple of times already just for little bits of plastic. I just want, you know, just need that little bit of extra sturdiness when I hold it and things. Uh, but when I do my figures, all my Judge Dread figures and my, um, my Dark World Creations figures, all my uh, 2000 of these stuff, I think this will be very handy indeed. The only thing I will say is that obviously with uh, the little bit blocks of wood that you can hold, you can, you know, just pop them down on your surface and they'll stand up. This, because of the way it is, you have to lie it down like that, um, rather than, let's show you that we can pat it away a little bit. You know, if you, had a, if you had a figure on a pot, you just stand the pot like that, and uh, when, you've, when you're having a break or something like that. With this, you can't do that, so you have to lay it down. The good thing is this does give you a thing where it doesn't roll around on your desk because of this, uh, uh, the bolt and everything. Uh, but you have to be careful that what side you put it down that your figure's not hanging over the edge of your knock it or anything like that. But I think that's not too bad, but it's just not as handy as having something like that. But overall, I like it. Um, and it's one of those tools that you will use, I think, on a regular basis um, or for several genres of modeling. So for me, it's a thumbs up. And if I remember correctly, I think it was only something like eight euros or something, you know, 10 euros, something like that. It, as I say, the, the price would have been flashed up already, but I reckon it's a good little recommend for me. And I think uh, if you do do figures, it's a definite, um, if you've got a spare tenner lying around, you know, it's worth it. But there is, it does have a multitude of uses and uh, I can see me using that quite a bit. But, uh, but that's it for me. That's the AK Universal Work Holder, a recommend. Until next time, take care, bye-bye.